Volcano has started a very violent phase of its activity. As you can see, it's bubbling up, it's uh, melting the huge amounts of the la uh, magma, and uh, they're flooding out. We are back to the good old days, as we call it love last week. This was, it was not a long time ago, but look at it again. That is amazing. It's, uh, it's flowing out of the you know, current uh, conduit that it has. Some of it goes in deep into the, as you can see, the, the lava flow in the uh, uh, right side of the uh, flow, which is uh, down the crater rim. Goes directly to the lava tube. The rest of it also goes to the other tubes. I will put a video at the end of it just to show what's the position of those ones. And uh, whatever they cannot take overflows out and uh, flows toward the... Uh, uh, I think it's in Nataji Valley that goes toward that direction. We are looking toward the north uh, east or north northeast, and this uh, the flow is mainly toward that because that is actually a very nice <laughs> uh, passage for the lava to go to the Nataji. And uh, I, I wondered, but tomorrow it is completely over uh, taking the Nataji Valley, and then uh, we are now in the open field. Uh, if we go toward the road and the sea after that, look at it, how violent it is. The, it has not been that uh, active since we started to, you know, uh, observing this volcano. The huge amount, this, the huge amount of the lava that is flowing shows the source is very uh, deep and uh, connected to an endless, almost endless reservoir. Of course, we know that the size of the Earth is finite, the mantle of the Earth is finite. But in our human scale, this volcano is connected to something which appears to be indefinitely infinite. So uh, that's, that's what we are seeing now. Look at, look at the amount of the lava with the amount of the slag on top of it, the ones that are the amount of the you know, colder parts, those darker parts we see in the lava are the slags. It's amazing, beautiful. This volcano has changed, changed the volcanology. I think that we will see a lot of uh, people coming to Iceland. And also we've seen all across the world, universities will have a lot of enrollment. Igneous geology was not a subject that many people could go there and just do PhD and other things. Now you will see increase in, in the numbers of this, including also uh, people who apply for to go to university for the uh, undergraduate and graduate courses in the in the geology and environmental science that's very important um, you know development this is a normal or this is not a normal everyday volcano we have etna in the you know in the italy um, this publicity is amazing the, it's because it's so close you can you don't need to oh, you know hike a mountain 3000 meters you know high like etna and other places this is just available. The, high, the highest hill in this area is around 300, 400 meters. This volcano is not more than 250, 300 meters. And that makes it so interesting. 